Ryan Carter's out uh, this week. Uh, we're not going to be able to make it. And uh, Zach Riggs kind of tweaked his knee yesterday, so he's going to be out this week too. That's the newest news. Is there any news on Ace? Ace, yes. Ace Elliott arrived this morning. Uh, seven pounds, nine ounces, 19 inches long. Ace Elliott, uh, St. Francis Hospital. So uh, Tony actually came out for practice and now he's heading back to the hospital. So uh, <laughs> it was fun watching everybody scramble around today for trying to trying to fill the void. You don't realize, you know, how much, you know, one guy means until they're just plucked out, you know. But uh, staff did a great job stepping in today. And uh, you know, Terry Allen and, and uh, Diamond Adams did a good job too. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Wanted to ask you about Cordrea Tankersley. He's a guy who's had some pass breakups the past few weeks, a couple interceptions. You know, what can you say about the way he's developed this year? Come along. Oh, he's come a long way. In fact, it's funny you bring him up because I was just kind of going through some, a couple of my old notebook stuff. You know, I keep recruiting stuff, and you uh, know, I have all kind of pictures. And and I came across this one picture, and it was uh, it was it was Shaq Lawson and Cordrea Tankersley, and. Uh, it was actually Mason Cloy's dad because he worked at Hargrave at the time. But he, they're in the picture with their Hargrave jerseys on, and I just laughed. And uh, and so I come into the team meeting today, and sure enough, Cordray and Shaq are actually sitting next to each other. And I, and I just held it up, and I said, hey, boys, don't forget where you came from. Because both of those guys were in tears, in my literally tears, in my office when they were, you know, having to go uh, to prep school. Um, with the disappointment but now you look at them and you know they grew through that and both of them are just doing exceptionally well so uh, that experience certainly made them uh, who they are today and uh, really proud of Cordray he's he's having a great season for us for sure. Did you think he was going to be a safety too when he came in? Right? Uh, yeah we, we you know I actually thought that he had a chance to be uh, a corner uh, yeah. but a bigger corner I really did but but early on you know just body type wise we were kind of projecting him well for sure he's going to be a safety or at the minimum he'll be a, a really good safety with coverage skills but the more and more he watched him like you know what this guy he he, he can play corner and uh, you know anytime you can find a guy that has size and physicality like that that also has the speed and, and, and you, know, you know footwork to be able to play corner Man, those guys are hard to find. Uh, they're really hard to find, and that, that's that's what's going to make Mark Field such a special player because he's he's uh, he's a big, thick, strong guy that can fly. Uh, he can play safety too, but but he's uh, he, you know so kind of similar guys. Although Cordray's a long, lengthy guy, uh, kind of like a Maxwell, um, yeah, but uh, maybe maybe a little faster than Maxwell. What are the biggest things Cordray has done to get to where he is this season to improve his game? He's just grown up. I mean, just put the work in. I mean, he, you know, I was just telling the team. I mean, it, I love watching some of our guys play. Like, I mean, I, there's a few guys on our team that I just can't wait to watch the tape because they're just – they're so confident in what they're doing. And the reason they're confident is because they're prepared and they're prepared because they've paid the price. And when you when you have confidence, you're having some fun. And when you're having fun, you can do amazing things. And and uh, you know, Ben Bowler's a guy. You know, I just love to watch him play because he's so confident. Uh, J. Ron Curse, Cordray. I mean, these guys are just playing. But 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 Cordray has prepared. He's he. When you're not confident, you're hesitant. And then you play slower. You play you know less athletic. Uh, you're a little stiffer, you know, just because you're just, you know, it, it just affects everything. But when you're locked in mentally and you've grinded, um, it just brings out the best in you. And, uh, you know, he's, that's what he's done. He's worked in the meeting rooms, uh, film study on his own, summer. I mean, he's just been grinding here for three years now. And he has really developed into a confident football player. He was not very confident when he first got here. Uh, but he had a lot to learn, technique-wise, fundamental-wise, scheme-wise. And uh, so now all of a sudden you don't play as fast and, and as fluid. Um, but uh, now he's, he knows what he's doing. And, and again, he just now his athleticism and his speed and all those great attributes that he has 
they're shining through. I'm, I'm really, uh, you know, pleased with, uh, with Cordray. He's, he's a good one. Cares. You always. College is number one defense right now. Do you think it helps that Clemson players know what it's like to play against a team that's been number one before? Oh yeah, I mean we've been there. Uh, you know, like Louisville last year, I think was number one when we when we played them, I believe. But but we we, we practiced against the number one defense in the country all year uh, last year, and then these these old boys ain't chump change. You know, they're pretty good. So. Um, yeah, they're you know I don't I don't really think anybody overwhelms us on game day just because of what we practice against. Um, so, but Boston College, you know, they're the standard right now. Um, I mean, and they've earned it. I mean, they're really good at what they do. And same thing, they're very confident. They're very well prepared, very well coached. They're flying around. They don't make a lot of mistakes. They're where they're supposed to be. They understand their the nuances of their pressure packages, and and they're very good with their disguises. And, and all that stuff, and then they're aggressive in the secondary. I mean, they they are they are in your face, and it's it's a competitive play every play. Uh, so, you know, just it's, it's just one of those games that that communication is at an all time premium. Uh, everybody being on the same, even if we're all wrong, we're all right. <laughs> Everybody's got to be on the same page, and receivers have to play fast. They got to play with great technique. There's going to be a lot of competitive plays that, that they got to win. Uh, we got to try to figure out a way to get our backs to the second level, uh, which is which is easier said than done against this group. Uh, so yeah, I mean this is a, a great challenge for our offense to continue, you know, to, to grow up and improve.